What's up everybody, Nick here from Trap Garage. Today we're going to be doing an oil change on my car, aka the Nissan Sentra, aka the Red Shit Box, aka the naturally aspirated 1.6 4 cylinder 12 valve. And let's get right into it. So we're going to head up to the, uh, the Trap Garage here. That's, I ordered a left mirror for my car. Wait, right, a right side passenger side mirror for my car because that's, you know, how the car came. It didn't have a passenger side mirror, so I need to get that installed. But that'll be for another day. We'll do that in another video with Chris and Avery. Hey, puppy. Let's try to find the prime parking spot. Let's go ahead and get started here. Jack stands here. Last time I used these, uh, I dropped it on the ground and a black widow fell out. Had to kill it. So I'm just gonna really quickly, as a precautionary measure, go ahead and make sure there's nothing in there that's gonna kill me. So, since it hasn't been too uh, prominent in the previous videos, this is my car. It's a 1989 Nissan Sentra, currently all stock except for the exhaust. Uh, I chopped it a while ago and there it is, there's my muffler. Uh, currently all stock, like I just said. Um, it is a four cylinder 1.6, so I'm pushing maybe 75 horsepower currently at the uh, current altitude. Um, you know, the paint has been in perfect condition pretty much. Go ahead and show you guys the exhaust currently. So right now, all it is is a straight pipe from the cat. So there's where it ends, right here. Um, since I didn't, well I had a little bit of exhaust hose there and it was hanging down, but I was doing some skids in it with Avery and that just that, it fell off. Uh, yeah. And so, let's go ahead and get started here. Let's go ahead and get the jack all ready to go. We'll jack this baby up. And let's go ahead and get started on the oil channel. Just a little demonstration of uh, how light the car is. So we've got the jack stand up there. And this wheel is completely off the ground. As you can see, uh, yeah, this car weighs pretty much as much as a feather, and there's proof. Uh, she's up on the stands. Now this tire's officially on the ground again. Um, I may fix this. Uh, it's just a simple screw here. Pop that out, put this back in maybe. I don't know how that came out, but you know, whatever. Hey. Shut up. Max Life Synthetic Blend 5W30. Shit. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, there she is. Handbook. Um, I don't remember where I put my oil filter, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and find that. And then I'll pick up the video when I do find it. Hopefully I do. Uh I have a lot of K&N stuff, and I don't know where I put it. So, I'll see you guys back in a little bit. All right, well, I couldn't find the oil filter. Uh, I looked probably for like 15, 20 minutes. So it's okay for now. Uh, I changed my oil like 3,000 miles ago, so I'm okay. The intake air box, blah, blah, blah. It's basically breathing through a straw, which probably contributes to the slowness. The stretch were changed after I put it on its suspension, which I'll link you guys to a picture if you want to see it. I just replaced the spark plug wires and the distributor cap uh, <clears throat> a little while ago, as well as the fuel filter, which is right here. And that's pretty much all that's been done, really. Um, if you're wondering why it's so disgusting, that is because 
a while ago when I was putting some oil in between the change uh, I was on my way to work and I was rushing to get it done so so I left my oil cap right here and I put some oil in shut the hood and started driving to work which is about 30 minutes away is where I work from my house so it was kind of a pain in the ass and it created this mess it exploded out of the grill uh, there's still a little oil residue all over here as you can see this headlight is basically completely covered in oil and well pretty much everything is took me quite a while to find the oil receptacle but we got it so we are ready to do this oil change let's just get this baby ready to go ready to inhale all of this nasty oil all right all right here it is right here here's jesus what the hell is this i gotta get this fixed too gotta get this boot fixed oh man it's cracked on both sides here oh my god i don't know if you guys can you guys see that look at this that's terrible that is not okay That is so black. Ooh. Check out how nasty this is. That is not okay. Let's, uh, let's bring it out into the light here. Disgustingly black. That is... Looks like I'm a little past due for an oil change there. Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and let that drain out. And... We'll go from there. Let me see. I... I can't remember where my oil filter is located, but it's in a really, oh no. Oh. Let's see. Oh man, that's completely torn in half. I don't know if you guys can see this. Check that out. I'm trying to get a good view for you guys. Oh, here we go. Look at that. This is completely ripped in half. It should be connected. These two right here should be connected together, but completely ripped in half. It's, this needs to get fixed. That boot needs to get fixed over there, and let's see how con condition this one's in here. No, this one's perfect. This one's fine right here. Let's check this here. Uh, this one's okay too, so this up there, this needs to get replaced very quickly in the near future, as well as that one there. My alignment needs to get fixed as well. It's cause, look at this. That is positive camber right there, my friends. Where the fuck is my oil filter? I got this the little drain plug back in. We're gonna just wipe that off. There's all that nasty oil. Which I was able to find the oil filter right as my camera decided you don't have enough space. All right, there, there's the oil filter, which I was, I know I have one. It's a little bit lost right now. And hopefully this time I do not forget my the oil cap. All right, I don't have a funnel, so this is going to be Oh my god, I just spilt it everywhere. Get just a bit more in there. I'm gonna try making it in the hole the first time. Oh my god, spilling it everywhere. Just poured three, three and a half, about four quarts. There it is, the oil cap. Here's a little backstory, a little fun story for you guys. The only reason that I bought this here is because that story I was telling you where I left this off because I was in such a rush. Popped it open in the parking lot of my uh, work, and I was like, oh no, it's gone. It ended up being tucked. I don't remember where it was tucked. It fell down somewhere and got stuck. I believe actually it was down there or something, something. I don't remember where it was. But anyways, I couldn't find it, so I went to Napa, picked this up super quick, and, well, 
Ended up finding this when I popped the hood. I was like, oh my god, there it is. Back in there. There we go. Alright guys, now we'll go ahead and get it off the stands and we'll go ahead and roll it back outside. Alrighty guys, so that concludes this video here. Uh, right now I'm just going to show you a little bit of an exhaust clip and just so you guys can get a feel of how this car sounds like a Lamborghini. Alrighty guys, I hope that you all enjoyed the video. If you did so, please leave a like, leave a comment, and hit that subscribe button because we're going to be coming out with a lot new content, a lot more content. So uh, yeah, this has been Trap Garage. I'll see you in the next video.